Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll design and animate a simple sci-fi door in Blender. First, open the edit menu, go to the preferences and click the extension tab. Search for the bull tool add-on and install it. Press N key to open the right panel. Then go to the edit panel and open the bull tool options. Add a cube object, move it up by 1 meter and adjust its size. Press Ctrl A and apply the scale transform. Open the viewport shading menu, switch the color type to random and enable the cavity option. Add another cube object. Switch the edit mode and turn it into a cutting plane. Select the plane first, then select the cube. The cube should be the active selection. Click the slice button under auto boolean to cut the active object along the selected one. This will create separate sliced objects. Select the left piece, press Alt P and clear the parent. This allows you to move the object separately. Open the Viewport Overlays menu and enable the Face Orientation option. Blue areas represent the outside of the mesh, while red areas indicate the inside. The red areas should also be blue. To fix this, select both slices, switch to Edit Mode, press Alt N and choose Recalculate Outside. Now, turn off face orientation in the overlays menu. Select these edges, press Ctrl B and apply a bevel. Set the segment number to 4. In object mode, Right click and choose Auto Shade Smooth. Select both pieces, switch to Edit Mode and select the faces. Press I to insert the face, then press E to extrude it slightly inward. Switch back to Object Mode and add a cylinder object. Set the vertex count to 6, rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis and adjust its size. Press Shift-T to duplicate the object. Then, add another cylinder, set its vertex count to 32, rotate Resize and position it accordingly. Align the cylinder with the other objects using the side view. Select all objects and press Ctrl J to join them together. Right click and choose Auto Shade Smooth. Hold Shift and select the door panel. Under Brush Boolean, choose the difference option. Now, select the cutter box and move it back to the door panel. As you can see, this subtract the selected objects from the active object, acting as a real-time boolean brush. Now, duplicate the cutter and apply it to the other door panel. Then, apply the cutters. Next, add a text object. Switch to Edit Mode and type the letter M. 
Go to the Text Properties tab, find the Geometry panel and extrude the text. Position it at the center of the door so that it intersect with the surface. With the text selected, hold Shift and select the door. Under Auto Boolean, choose the Union option. You might notice a shading issue. To fix this, right-click and Auto Shade Smooth. That's it. Follow the same steps to apply the letter K to the other door panel. Alright, let's make the door pins to lock the door. Add a cylinder object, adjust its size and place it properly. Right click and choose Auto Shade Smooth. Duplicate it 4 times and press Ctrl G to join them together. With the pin selected, hold shift and select the door, then apply the union boolean operation. If there is a shading issue, right click and select shade auto smooth to fix it. Next, duplicate the door and hide the original one in the viewport. Select the duplicated door, hold shift and select the other one. Under brush boolean, choose the difference operation. Select the cutter and move it slightly along the x-axis. Apply the cutter and unhide the original door. Now, let's work on the shading. Press Z and switch to Render Preview. Open the Render Properties tab and switch to EV. Enable the Ray Tracing option. Then go to the World Properties tab and add an Environment Texture for Lighting. Set the Light Strength value to 3. Switch the Timeline Editor to Shader Editor. Select the left door panel and click New to create a material. Delete the principal shader and add a metallic shader. Set the roughness value to 0.1, then add an ambient occlusion node and connect it to the metallic shader. This will darken corners and crevices, adding depth and realism to the material. Select the other panel and assign the metallic material from the material list. Then, go to the Render Properties tab, scroll down to the Film panel and enable the Transparent option. Select the left panel, add another material slot and click the New to create a new material. Delete the principal shader and add an emission shader instead. Switch to Edit mode, select the desired faces, open the material slot and assign the emission material to the selected faces. Rename it Emission 1. Set the strength value to 2 and choose any color. Repeat the same steps to assign the emission material to the right panel. Next, select the left panel and add an emission material slot. Add both a metallic shader and emission shader. 
Then insert a mix shader to combine them. In edit mode, select all phases of the M letter and assign the material to it. Choose any color for the emission and set its strength to 2. Set the metallic shader's roughness to 0. Now, add a layer weight mode and connect it to the factor input of the mix shader. Connect the phasing output and set the blend value to 0.15. You can slightly increase the emission if needed. Repeat the same process to assign the same material to the right panel. To have a glare effect around the emission objects, switch the shader editor to Compositor. Enable the Use Node option and add a glare node between the nodes. Go to the Viewport Shading menu and switch to the Compositor always. Go to the Material Properties tab and increase the emission strength. Set the glare quality to high and size to 7. Alright, let's animate the doors panels. Switch to solid view. Switch the shader editor to the timeline. Select the left panel and move on on the X axis. Press K key and insert the keyframe at frame 1. Then go to frame 40, move the panel forward and insert another location keyframe. In the timeline, select all keyframes, press T key and set the interpolation type to Quartic. When you play the animation, it will start slowly and will speed up at the end. Similarly, animate the right panel. Now let's animate the emission lights. Switch to Render Preview. Go to the frame 40. In the Material tab, select Emission 1. Set the Strength value to 2 and click the small dot next to it and add a keyframe. Go to the frame 60, increase the Strength value to 20 and add another keyframe. In the same way, animate the emission too. It is time to render. Add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to align the camera to view. Adjust the desired camera perspective by locking the camera to view. Unlock the camera again. Go to the Output Properties tab and set the resolution to 1080 pixels. Choose any frame rate for your animation. Set the end frame of the animation to 70. In the Output panel, select any folder to save the animation. Choose the file format MPEG. Open the encoding panel and choose the container type to MPEG4. Go to the Render menu and Render Animation. 
thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.